Hi there. I came across a tip recently from my friends at Excel Jet, and I thought this was really, really good. Um, they showed that you could choose and randomly choose between different values and uh, showed an example like I have uh, listed uh, here above me. Um, what I'm going to show you is how to go ahead and set that up. Let's say we want to do three different, um, like a breakout room or training room A, B, C, one, two, three, something like that. So I'm going to start the formula here, equal choose. When you're typing formulas like this, you either can double click or you can use tab. So I'm going to tab. And what we're setting up here is we want it to randomly choose between a certain number of values. I'm going to give it um, I'll, I'll give it four values here just because. So I'm, all, I'm going to nest in the rand between, and again, use tab to pick it. And the bottom is going to be a one. And the top, let's do four choices. And once I complete that part, then I want to give the specific values for the four different choices. And, you know, when I'm doing a more complex formula like this or function, I like to click the FX and get into the different parts of the function. I'm going to go ahead. I, when I clicked FX, I was in the ran between portion of the formula. I'm going to say OK. OK. And I'm going to click in the part where the choose is. Now I can go ahead and I can start listing the values. And notice in our sample how each value has quotes around it. So I'm going to do, let's just do room one, room two. It will do spaces. I tested it earlier. Um, I'm just doing to simplify. There we go. So we've got four different values there. I'm going to say OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill that down. So you could see how this would work for uh, a set of, of people that you want to assign to different things. I just think it's a really fun one. Now, I will say that when you want it to lock down in place, then you're going to have to do a copy and paste the value because this is something that's going to be continually changing. Like I'm going to move over here. When I type new stuff, those rand, any of those random kind of functions, they go ahead and change. You see, I've got a, that first group in column B is changing as well. Type another, you'll see that changing. So if I want to basically lock them down, I would Control C, copy, and either I do it right on top, if that was going to work, I would paste the value there and then be done with the formula, or I would use a helper row and uh, helper column and paste it next door and use that one instead. This one I'll do values over it, and now that one is done. There's no more formula in there, and it is uh, done and assigned, so I'm ready to go. Anywho, I thought you'd like that. Have a great day.